In 2004, two independent groups of researchers discovered a new species of primate in forests in southern Tanzania. This new species was described based on a photograph of an animal in a tree. The scientists originally placed this new species in the genus Lophocebus, which is uh, a genus of primates known as mangabees. Because the new species was represented only by the photograph of an animal, subsequent researchers couldn't confirm or refute these conclusions. About a year later, a specimen became available and came here to the Field Museum. And molecular analysis of this uh, specimen showed that the, this new species was basically a baboon. But morphological analysis of the same specimen showed us that it wasn't a baboon at all. Baboons have three morphological characters that define them as a group. This particular skull shows none of these things. And so because we had one line of evidence that suggested it was a baboon and another line that said it wasn't, we defined a new genus of primate to science, the first time in almost a century for African primates. This new genus was called, is called Rungwe Cebus, and this voucher specimen that's here at the Field Museum is the only voucher specimen of this new species and new genus. The reason we preserve the skin is that there are features on the skin that define this species as unique to all other species. The mohawk and the sideburns that you see here, the black eyelids, and the whitish tip to the tail are all features of the Kipunji that make it different than any other primate. And the importance of that is that this voucher specimen allows future researchers to continue to test hypotheses about the relationship of this primate to other primates. And this is vitally important for our understanding of the natural history of the planet and the conservation of it. Thank you.